what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new on this channel you're highly welcome and i'm glad to see you here so click on the subscribe button like this video and you can comment whatever you feel about the video about to make today and for those of you who have always been here with us i so much appreciate so we've seen the grand finale of the movie or series rather girl meets boy and the grand finale was a blast oh my god i love how this grand finale ended and guys i can't wait for season two to come out oh my god i don't know when it's going to come out though but then i'm expecting it to come out as soon as possible i guess they've not shot the movie yet so it might take like a little time but then i am anticipating the release of episode season two rather now in this video today i want to talk about this grand finale episode which was episode eight and how wonderful it was oh my god i know you guys have a lot to say about it and i want you to comment and to engage with me on the comment section let's get deep into this video guys now my first review on episode eight which was the grand finale is on august mom we've seen how august mom was from the first episode on to the last episode and there's something i want to say about her the woman is she's very very straight you know all this kind of mom though it's weird that they, they never said anything about august dad he's just a mom so she's most likely a single mom maybe their dad is dead or something but then she being a single mom she has this aura of, of being so straight like she doesn't allow her children to explore and this is one of the reasons why i feel okay is the way she is because okay is this kind of she she's kind of spoiled but she doesn't show all this kind of like as our spoiltness is not excessive she's just spoiled but then it's somehow it's more as if she's traumatized if you see the way she talks about guys you feel like this girl has gone through a lot of heartbreak and she has experienced like a lot of you know emotional traumas and i guess it's the way her mom you know treats her at home you know when you see kids from family where their parents are so straight there's this kind of similarities among them they have this kind of mental or emotional like behavior that looks like they are damaged i think that is the kind of lifestyle that Oge lives and the mom she's just so overprotective she's so like you know she's so caring i believe that she's doing that for her own good but then it's it's, it's kind of too much and it's affecting Oge adversely she feels like Oge's mom feels that she's doing the right thing but to Oge it looks like her mom is the most wicked person on earth and i won't blame her because i was once in that state when i was growing up though it was when i became a man like you know a young man actually <laughs> that i got to understand that my dad was doing this for my own good but then you know it's kind of excessive so august mom flying out to school stopping her from going for the party and all those stuff man it was it was too much i feel it was too much so i i want her to just calm down you know because if she continues this way okay might end up being a like a very very bad girl she would like she would go so wayward that her mom won't be able to con to control her now looking at tenny and caleb these two god guys this see where they kissed hey <laughs> you know when they kissed i thought something was going to happen like there's a chemist i believe that they have been a chemistry right from time but tenny is just blinded by a love for daniel so she didn't see the like that that feeling that she has for for caleb so when they kissed oh my god i thought this was it that yeah caleb you winner you've won you've won this girl's heart you've won her love you've won her kiss and everything but oh my god she kissed that that same day too wow it was crazy so both of them you know caleb trying you know acting like the alpha male kind of person like he is offended he doesn't want to talk to tenny again then he was apologizing and she and he wasn't even giving her the chance to apologize or wanted to listen to her i was like guy calm down calm down yeah i know your heart i know like she did what is below your expectation but then chill this girl is apologizing to you she's someone you like and all that though i know that sometimes pride and self you know awareness and that kind of thing is what is making him do that thing that he was doing so then he had to like you know up a game and she wrote a letter to him and i feel that letter was what like you know actually motivated him to talk to her and guy when they kissed i was like wow are they actually going to kiss or they are just going to like just cut that scene 
but then they showed us when they were kissing and i think the kiss was real like i could see the, the, their lips you know glean together ah, like, okay this one is not like best person in the world <laughs> because in best person in the world every opportunity that could have led to kisses they just cut it off but in this particular movie they gave us what we wanted to see because we actually wanted to see them kiss and do some you know romantic shitty stuff and i gave it to us so after Tenny kissed not not Tenny kissed both of them kissed each other the next moment Tenny went and kissed daniel and there's this particular girl oh my that girl <laughs> that girl just happened to be everywhere like that soapy friend she just happened to be everywhere she was there when Tenny was kissing um caleb and she was also there when Tenny was kissing daniel and the nonsense girl videoed everything she videoed everything and that was a big case for tenny because man seeing the fact that the girl is sophie's friend and sophie doesn't like tenny and she was she was and she was cooking up something against tenny <sighs> man but then when Caleb found out that tenny also kissed daniel oh my god the guy was broken hey he felt that he had he had won that he had won tenny's heart he had won her love but my guy was disappointed seeing that Tenny kissed Daniel also. Well, in the next season, I feel he's going to move on. But then, something in me is still saying that they might actually like still have more episodes or more movements together. Well, let's wait for season two to come out and find out. Now, looking at Tenny's apologies to Sophie, well, she um realized her mistake. Well, she realized her mistake from episode um seven and she apologized to Tenny she apologized to sophie publicly but this time this time around she had to like do a personal apology you know when um sophie organized like um a party in her house and that party was aimed at disgracing tenny you know i told you guys after episode seven when sophie caught um tenny and daniel together when she was on suspension i told you guys that she had something up her sleeve that she she wants to do something to tenny but then what she planned to do was to disgrace her publicly. So she organized this fake party and told Tenny and Oge and Janelle that she would come and that she would wear a costume. So these guys thought, oh, okay, Sophie is inviting us for a party and she's asked us to wear a costume. And it happened that it just the three of them she invited for that party, no other person. <laughs> so unfortunately, Oge couldn't go for the party because of course her mom stopped her and janet wasn't even interested so my innocent tenny was was now the escape goods hi and she dressed so funny <laughs> the way she was dressing her costume was just so funny and she looked funny so when she entered the room and there was video then sophie had set up a video and this thing then she videoed her when she <coughs> then she videoed her when she walked in but then tenny did something that shocked me I thought she would just cry and leave but then she turned back and to my amazement she apologized to sophie once again and sophie at that point in time was okay she was emotional but then when she now told sophie to delete the video <laughs> that was when sophie said no i'm not doing that and your emotional stuff ended and another scenario where tenny apologized again was when they were at the library and they were studying and Sophie came and you know, wanted, she came as a wolf in a sheep clothing just to, you know, act nice towards Tenny and all that, uh, just to pretend to make her feel comfy with, you know. And this was aimed at planning that party so that she would invite them over and disgrace her. So Tenny apologized to um, Sophie, and then Sophie planned up everything, like all she was doing was so suspicious from the competition. And then the competition she went for she had to like buy a robot it wasn't no she destroyed a robot in episode seven we remember the yeah? so this time around she pretended as if she was building something new but then he found out that she actually bought the robot not like she did it herself and that was also an evidence she had against her wow episode eight was awesome <laughs> let's progress and see how it unfolds sophie had videoed then when she came for the party she said the condition for her to delete the video was for Tenny to avoid Daniel and we all know that Tenny is in love with Daniel and she and Daniel are pretty close now but then 
how is she going to do it is she going to listen to sophie and try to avoid daniel or not though she tried but it didn't work it was in the effort to avoid daniel she and daniel kissed <laughs> So you can see like the irony of the whole thing. She was trying to avoid Daniel, but then she ended up kissing Daniel. And once again, that creepy girl, okay, um, Sophie's friend was there to video them. And it was mad. Very, very mad. Then, of course, they kissed and she videoed and Sophie had the evidence, the evidence with her. And this is like double evidence against Denny. Going forward, Sophie won the competition and we all knew how she won it the robot wasn't hers she bought it from a company actually and tenny knew about it so tenny has evidence sophie has evidence so both of them have <laughs> evidence against each other now whose evidence is going to cause more harm i believe that sophie's evidence is going to cause more harm because what she has against tenny is just like a timely disgrace and embarrassment which is going to pass but she she stands to lose a lot like a whole lot <sighs> So it got to a point where Sophie found out that Tenny kissed Daniel and also kissed Caleb. Now she was so mad, she was so angry, and she decided to like expose Tenny. When she did that, she sent the video to the whole school. Everybody saw it, and they were looking at Tenny somewhere, somewhere. So when Tenny found out what was going on, she was so offended and so pissed. Then she walked up to Sophie. I was thinking she was just going to like cry sophie why did you do this blah 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 and walk away but to my surprise she walked up to sophie with boldness and confronted her and sophie was acting almighty yeah she has the upper hand and all that and boom then he hit her with her own evidence wow how the table turned so at this point in time sophie was like she was so confused she didn't know what to do and then he exposed all she did by the like winning the commission with, by cheating and all that and she threatened sophie that the battle line has just been drawn hey <laughs> guys episode one of season two in fact the whole of season two is going to be fire i really can't wait for season two to come out i know you guys can't wait so what do you guys think about episode eight just write it on the comment section let's talk about it tell me your best scene in that episode eight let's engage in it is this the best you can do excuse me i don't talk to slots mm. <laughs> <laughs> sophie the battle line is drawn you want war right you would have war i would give you war Tony, you can't do anything really <laughs> Tony, i dare you really i can't do anything sophie really fine you think i don't know you actually bought your robot yes you didn't actually make it from the scratch like you said you did what i don't know what you're talking about i knew she would say that i knew you'd say that that's why i have proof Everybody, this is the video of the company where she actually bought that robot. Sophie, you're a cheat and you're not a winner. Yes, and like I said earlier, the battle line is drawn. Rubbish. So guys this is my review of episode 8 of girl meets boy the grand finale of season one now they say they're going to release season two soon i don't know when only god knows but then i am expecting i am so 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 expecting it because a lot of drama is going to happen hey so guys if you're new on this channel once again and you're interested in this particular movie and if you've not seen best friends in the world please go and watch best friends in the world it's also another interesting movie and if you're interested in scholarships you want to study abroad student place is a place for you and in our channel we talk about controversial topics like a lot of things that will keep you entertained so please guys subscribe to my channel watch our videos and like 
i'll see you guys in my next video bye